Hello friends. So what we're going to do today is the um, Roman numeral kata. And we're going to do it with uh, TDD uh, and RSpec using TDD. Uh, blah, using RSpec <laughs> to write our test driven development test. So let's get into it. Describe uh, Roman numeral logic or converter. This first one will be just kind of a smoke test. It um, can make a new object. And we'll do Roman equals Roman.new. We'll run this test. It'll fail. Uninitialized constant. Tells you exactly what to do. Class Roman. And and now that test passes, and that's what you want to do. Write a test till it write a failing test, make it pass. And then we'll go it uh, will return i for one. Do and expect Roman convert one dot two eq. And that'll fail. Undefined variable Roman. Undefined local variable and method Roman R O M A N. Because we gotta do this. All right. Now it's failing for the right reason. No no method error. So let's do the uh, do we call it converter or convert? Convert. And let's just make it pass the test. It'll just return one right now. Zero failure is good. Keep back to our test suite. Let's write another one. We'll return double I for two. Double I for two. It'll fail. I was expecting two eyes, got one. So let's um, do it like this. Um, and equal two. And that should make the test pass. Zero failures. Nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of this first test. We don't need it because we're doing it in our other tests. And then let's take this new Roman line that we're uh, repeating and let's make it a before action with it. At Roman equals Roman dot new. wherever you have Roman. Just put your ad there. And let's make sure it's still passing. Cool, everything's passing. So let's go to three. And let's start picking up steam with these. Returns three eyes for three. 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 And all we're trying to do is make this test pass. So if in Three, return cool that doesn't work three examples zero failures but this looks ugly for sure um, this code is starting to look ugly, but they're passing, so let's just keep going. We'll return IV for four. four. 
and it failed. So let's try and think how we're going to get out of this. We could just do return iv if n equals 4. That will make the test pass. But we're doing a lot of repeating here. We got like a ternary operator going on right here. We got two different return statements. So let's try and do something like this. Symbols equals an array. And within that array, let's do an i for one. And then let's do a v, actually. Let's do a IV for four. And then let's try and get some logic going here. Let's go result equals nothing. And then we can go while in is greater than or equal to uh, One. Let's get rid of this. Actually, let's get rid of this test right here for right now. We'll get it in just a second, but I just want to make sure that this other stuff is passing for right now. While in is less than one. Add to results i. Minus one. So we should be able to get rid of all of this and then just return result. I think this will work. Let's run it. Cool, we're passing. So right now, with the way that that goes, everything's working with the eyes, but once we get to four, things are not going to work so well. For right now, we can just keep it like this. Um, return uh, for in. Return IV if n is equal to 4. See if that passes. Let's go here. Let's end test here. See if that passes. Okay, that passes. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Let's fix these tests real quick though. So one would be context base number. Context. These are numbers that add up base base numbers. That'll be two and three. These are numbers that might subtract from a base, like 4. Cool. So that's cleaned up. Let's make sure that it's all still working. It's all still working. So in the base numbers context, let's do 5. Because 5 is a base number. It will return B. Four, five, do in expect uh, at home and dot convert five dot two eq b 
eighth. Let's run it. And it fails. So a way that we can fix this is we can add V to our symbols up here. V for five. And then we can start enacting these symbols. We can go symbols dot each do, and the first one is Roman, second one is Arabic. Take this while we put it in here. Change one to Roman. Return. Let's get rid of that. We do result add Arabic. Roman. And then we'll just return the result. I think that that should work fine so far. So let's see. Ooh, five examples, five failures. So we did a good thing. We broke air thing. Let's see what we did. I love it when we break everything. I don't show these counts for symbols. Did you mean symbol? That's probably exactly what I meant. Symbol. Symbols, yep. Symbols. Now it should pass. So this is what programming is. It's trying to figure out what you did wrong. Little errors. Symbols not easy to Roman, Arabic. While in is greater than Roman. So if we have three. Ah, I think I have these backwards. I actually do have these backwards. Arabic. We want to add to the result. Roman. Arabic. I have those backwards. Okay, cool. So five failures, or five examples, zero failures. Good, 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 good. So I think we're on our way here. So let's start doing, let's do nine. Nine is a good one. Converting uh, subtraction. B, it will return I X for I. And it failed. So And it passes. And let's do base numbers. I gotta start copying more. Fails. Make it pass. Cool. So let's try and do an addition one. Converting additions, let's say. Let's just see if it does it for 20.
it will return xx for 20 xx 20. And it passes, sweet. Let's do 22. Or let's do 35. xx x b xx x b Uh, just to make sure that all this is working. Cool, that's working. So what's one that it might not work? 40. It won't work on 40 yet. It will return. Um, now I can't remember what 50 is. I think it's uh, yeah. XL or this should fail because it's a subtraction one. Expect at Roman dot convert forty dot two EQ um, XL. And there are just some of these that you see it failed. There are some of these that you just have to put in the symbol. So forty is one of them. XL for 40 and works and let's do 50 real quick which is a base And it fails. And let's go over here. L fifty. Cool. Well, that's right. A couple more additions, and we should. And that's about as, as good as we're going to get. I'm not going to start going into C's and things like that. Doors long open. That might be time to end it. Um, we'll return. Uh, I don't know. Uh, L X X for seventy. That seems like a good one. Expect at Roman dot convert. 70 dot 2 EQ. What did I say? L, X, X. I don't even know if that's right. Okay, cool. So everything's passing. We've got upwards of 12 tests for it. And that's basically the, the uh, pattern that you follow. You can... Um, go further and further up, adding C's for hundreds and whatever a thousand is, and a million. But um, that's the basic TDD kata for the Roman numerals kata using RSpec. Sweet.